Do you have a snapping hip? If so, what's going on and what can you do to get over it? I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine expert. I share sports, exercise, and injury information, as well as stories from some of the world's best athletes and coaches so that you can become a champion in sports, business, and life. Snapping hip problems are typically seen in young, active people. You know, it may be young athletes as young as 12, 13, 14 years old, even though occasionally you can see it in older people. Not real common, but it can be really tricky. A lot of times this is ballet dancers or gymnasts, people with a lot of range of motion. But it's also people that do some sort of repetitive motion over a period of time. And how they typically complain of pain is that they'll have sort of an uncomfortable snapping sen uh, sensation. It may be toward the front of the hip, it may be toward the side of the hip, but with some sort of repetitive motion. Again, that's why you typically see it in like ballet dancers, you know, gymnasts, people with a lot of hip motion and that do repetitive motions. What it is, just so you know, is there's tendons that run either across the front of your hip or around the side of your hip that normally sort of move across, in this case, the, the capsule of the front of your hip joint. On the outside, it's that bony prominence on the outside of your hip. And in all of us, the, those hip flexors or the muscles on the outside of your hip normally move with motion. That's normal. But in people where they get a snapping sensation, those muscles and tendons sort of get aggravated either on the front of the capsule or they get inflamed on the front of the capsule or on that bony prominence. And then it causes almost this friction or feeling like it's uncomfortable and it's snapping. So the key is to get over that sort of friction and that sort of inflammation. The vast majority of the people can do this without surgery. So seeing an orthopedic surgeon or a sports medicine physician might be enough to just make sure you know it's not something bad going on. And that alone can really give you peace of mind. But then it may be just a short-term period of rest and activity modification. Whatever it is, whatever activity that's causing that hip to feel like it's snapping, backing off of that sometimes is all that's needed. It could be a little bit of work with a physical therapist, you know, things that, you know, stretching exercise to stretch that hip flexor, so to speak, or, or maybe your IT band and tensor fascia lata on the upper side of the hip. And they can, a lot of times, if you go to a physical therapist just once or twice, they can show you things that you can work on on your own. It may be things like dry needling or ultrasound to sort of calm it down. But again, the vast, vast majority of the time, this doesn't end up needing surgery. Again, it's not always a quick fix, and sometimes the snapping may persist, but the pain from it may go away, allowing you to do what you want to do as well as you want to do it. If this video was helpful, I'm thrilled. Click the, the video below for much more helpful information. Make sure to subscribe so that you get all kinds of helpful videos to help you become a champion in everything you want to do.